already know what are ocean currents. Ocean currents refer to the systematic circulation of water bodies in specific directions. Now we shall look at the factors that affect ocean currents. The factors that influence ocean currents are as follows. They are temperature, salinity, rotation of the earth, shape of the land masses and planetary winds. In this video, we will learn about the first two factors that influences ocean currents. They are temperature and salinity. You must have light lanterns during Diwali's. Have you ever wondered why lanterns and hot air balloons rise up? This is because hot air is lighter than cold air. So when we light lanterns, the air inside the balloons gets heated up and gets lighter. Therefore, they rise up. A similar phenomena is observed in water bodies as well, which influences the motion of ocean currents. We will see this how. If we look at our globe, we find that the tropics are hot. That is, they have very high temperature. The temperate zone are warm and the frigid zone or the poles are cold. That is, they have very low temperature. If you take a look at our globe, you will find that the tropics are hot. That is, they have very high temperature. The temperate zone are warm. The frigid zone or the poles are cold. That is, they have very low temperature. So, we will now look into the reason that causes difference in temperature of these zones. The tropical zone have very high temperature because they receive direct rays of the sun. The temperate zone have warm temperature because they receive slanting rays of the sun. The frigid zone receive very slanting rays. That's why they have very low temperature because the intensity of heat in this region is very low. So since we find temperature difference between these zones, therefore the water body spread in these zones also have difference in temperature. The difference in temperature sets up convectional currents. Now, to understand convectional currents, let us perform an activity. Take a glass of hot water and add some ice cubes to it. What will happen? The hot water will acquire room temperature. That is, the water will neither be as hot as boiling water nor as cold as ice. So, the water will acquire room temperature. To understand convectional currents, let us take a look at this experiment. This is a jar of water and it is being heated up from below. The water that is red in color that is rising up is the hot water and the one that is coming down or sinking below is the cold water. The hot water being lighter rises up and the cold water comes down to take its place. Now the water that comes down gets heated up again and rises up. So this process continues in the from form of a cycle and this is called convectional currents. So this is how heat is transferred in fluids in the process of convection. So what is convection? Convection is the process in which hot water rises up and cold water sinks down and it forms convectional currents. The convectional currents are also found in water bodies which influences the movement of ocean currents. Take a look at this world map. Here, the one that are marked with red are warm current and the ones marked with blue are cold current. You see that the warm currents travel from equatorial region to the poles and the cold currents travel from polar region to the equatorial region. Now, 
Why does this happen? This happens because the equatorial region are very hot. So they set up warm currents and the polar region are very cold and they set up cold currents. So the unequal e heating of equatorial region and the polar region set up convectional currents in large water bodies like oceans. The warm currents being hotter and lighter rises up and travels from the tropics to the poles. Now this space will not remain empty but the cold currents will come down. Why? The cold currents are heavier and therefore they will travel down from the poles to the tropics to occupy the empty space. So this process continues in the form of a cycle and this is how temperature influences the circulation of ocean currents throughout the globe. So when the warm currents travel through a region, they warm those regions and when the cold currents come down, they cool the region. So this is how temperature influences the circulation of ocean currents and regulates global temperature. Before we proceed with our lesson, can you help me to answer this question? What is the cycle that involves upward movement of hot water and downward movement of cold water called? We just now learned that it is called convectional currents. Have you ever visited sea beaches? Have you ever tasted sea water accidentally? Do you know how does it taste? It tastes salty. So why do you think sea water tastes salty? This is because sea water contains mineral salts like sodium chloride. The concentration of salt in sea water is called salinity. Salinity refers to the weight of dissolved minerals and the weight of sample sea water. The average salinity of sea water is 3.5 parts per thousand. What does it mean? It means that 35 grams of salt is present in 1000 grams of sea water. Now let us look at an activity. In this activity we have collected sea water and we heat up the sea water at high temperature. What happens? The water evaporates and salt is left behind. See? So, in our previous activity, we found that if sea water is heated, it leaves behind salt. So, in equatorial regions where the rate of evaporation is very high, the level of salinity is also very high because the water gets heated up and salt is left behind. So, the water found in the equatorial regions are very saline and therefore very denser. Again, the water bodies found in the polar regions are less saline. This is because there the rate of evaporation is low. Therefore, the water content is high and salt concentration is low. Now, we will understand how this level of salinity affects the movement of ocean currents. Take a look at this map. The arrow in this map shows the motion of ocean currents from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. Now why does this happen? Mediterranean Sea is located in the equatorial region. Therefore, the rate of evaporation here is very high. So, the level of salinity is also very high. So, this region is very saline compared to the adjoining Atlantic Ocean. Because in Atlantic Ocean, the rate of evaporation is low, therefore the water content is high and therefore it is less saline and it is lighter. So the water from the Atlantic Ocean being lighter rise up to the surface and floats into the Mediterranean Sea. Whereas the Mediterranean Sea is more saline 
and denser so the water sinks down and flows from the mediterranean sea to the atlantic ocean so this is how salinity influences the movement of ocean currents just as ocean currents tries to regulate or balance the temperature of the globe in the same way the water or the ocean currents also try to regulate the salt balance of the water bodies so the ocean currents flow to regulate the salt balance or to maintain the salt balance of the water body so wherever the salt balance is low or it's less saline it flows into the regions where the salt content is more and wherever the salt content is more it sinks down and flows into the region where the salt content is less so in this video we studied how temperature and the level of salinity guides or influences the movement of ocean currents in our next video we will look into the other factors like the rotation of the earth the planetary winds and the shape of the landmass that influence the circulation of ocean currents don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now